In this video, we will talk about certainty equivalent risk premium for a risk averse individual. Okay, so let us have an example uh, to understand this very well. Let us say we have an agent or an individual. He owns a house of worth hundred dollars. Okay, he has a house of worth hundred dollars. Okay, there is possibility that this house may burn. Okay, this house may burn, and in this case the house value remains it comes out to be 36 that means in case this house burns the value of this house is 36 in case it does not burn the value remains same that means it remains of worth hundred dollars okay let me write here not burn okay now let us say there are 20 percent chances that this house may burn and 80% chances are that this may not burn okay so what is so this individual is facing this very gamble and what is the expected value of this gamble so how do we calculate expected value of the gamble is simply when we multiply the random outcome with its probability and sum them up we get the expected value okay so 20% is actually we can write it like this 1 upon 5 into 30 seconds plus uh, this 80 percent can be written as 4 upon 5 into 100 okay and this comes out to be 87.2 we say expected value of this gamble is 87.2 okay so also let us have uh, the utility function for this risk, uh, risk averse individual let us say this uh, risk averse individual is facing a utility function like this utility of x is equal to under root of x okay let us draw this on graph also okay so let me draw the graph here like this so this is the graph for this utility uh, this individual here we measure the payoff okay and here we measure the utility okay so our individual is facing this very utility function let us uh, write it u uh, is equal to under root of x okay so since this is our utility function for the individual now what is the utility of then what is the utility of 36 dollars for this individual utility of 36 dollars means under root of 36 which comes out to be 6 okay so uh, utility of 36 dollars so let us write here uh, 36 so we have here 36 and the utility of 36 comes out to be 6 here okay this comes out to be 6 and what is the utility of 100 dollars for him since he is facing this very uh, utility function so we have under root of 100 this comes out to be 10 okay let's take another point uh, so let us draw it like this okay let us say we have here 100 dollars okay expected payoff sorry we have payoff on this axis and utility of this hundred dollars came out to be 10 okay let us say we have this 10 now what is the expected utility of this gamble expected utility of this gamble uh, i have explained uh, you in earlier videos uh, the difference between expected utility and the expected value okay so i will not come uh, i will not come up with those uh, ideas here to explain to you people so i'm just uh, trying to take the things as they are here so expected utility will is equal to one upon for you that means probability of this house may burn into utility of 100 which we calculated so let me write it here uh, utility of 100 uh, plus 1 upon 5 sorry uh, 4 upon 5 and utility of it is here utility of 36 obviously first 
okay so we have 36 here 100 here this gives us the expected utility of this gamble so this is 1 upon 5 utility of 36 we calculated it came out to be 6 plus 4 upon 5 utility of 100 which came out to be 10 and when we solve this will come out to be uh, let me write it here this will come out to be 9.2 this is the expected utility of the gamble okay so uh, what is our what we call so let's draw this on this uh, so we have two pointers if we join them like this and take mean of this line that means uh, we got here 9.2 okay and how do we uh, calculate this let's first uh, take the x uh, utility of expected value okay so i will explain it here so you to what is the utility of expected value that means our expected value was 87.2 that means under root of because the person is facing this very utility function so at uh, sorry expected value is 87.2 87.2 and it comes out to be 9.3 okay so this is utility of expected value this comes out to be 9.3 so we have 87.2 let me write it here so we have here 87.2 what is the expected uh, sorry what is the utility of this 87.2 which we calculated it came out to be 9.3 okay so let me write it here so this comes out to be 9.3 and at this point what is the expected value of the gamble it came out to be 9.2 okay so let me write it here this is 9.2 now this is our expected value of the gamble okay and this is a utility of expected value okay if our individual does nothing okay he is playing this gamble he gets the expected utility of 9.2 okay now could this risk averse person be assured a certain amount which would give him a level of utility equivalent to the expected utility from the risky gamble that means i will write it here like this uh, could this okay could this risk averse risk averse person uh, person be assured assured a certain amount certain amount okay by this certain amount let us call it certainty equivalent okay which which would which would give him give him a level of level of utility equivalent equivalent to the expected expected utility from a risky gamble okay what is the utility that he is getting 9.2 okay the point to make is here could we assure this uh, risk averse person a certain amount okay a sure amount which would give him the same uh, utility which he gets from playing this gamble okay so for that we need to find out that means utility of certain amount okay utility of certain amount should be equal to expected utility of gamble okay so utility of certain amount which we need to give to this individual so that he is indifferent between this certain amount and the risky gamble what is the expected utility of gamble we calculated this comes out to be 9.2 
and what is the utility of certain amount so since this is our utility function so in, we can write it like this under root of ce that means certainty equivalent is equal to 9.2 which implies ce if we transpose this under root it will become square so we have 9.2 square this comes out to be ce is equal to 84.64 okay the point to make here is this certain what we call certainty equivalent is the amount of money for which an individual is indifferent between gamble and certain amount okay on graph what does this mean we need to find out we can see this is the expected utility from the gamble okay and we need we need to make this person indifferent between the expected utility and and the certain amount which he gets okay so let's draw it here so this point this point came out to be 84.64 so let me write it here 84.64 okay the point to make here is that certainty equivalent uh, is the amount of money for which an individual is indifferent between gamble okay and certain amount okay so playing gamble he gets 87.2 playing uh, getting assured a certain amount he gets 84.64 okay so this point here this very point denotes our certainty equivalent this is our expected value of the gamble okay the difference between these two gives us risk premium okay risk premium okay so let me define it again what is meant by certainty equivalent certainty equivalent is the amount so let me write it here certainly uh, equivalent is the amount amount of money okay money for which uh, for which an individual by individual we mean a risk averse uh, individual is indifferent indifferent between gamble gamble and certain amount certain amount we can also say um, certain uh, certainty equivalent is the amount of sure cash and that would make the agent indifferent between certain amount okay and gamble okay so the difference between these certainty equivalent and expected value gives us the risk premium okay so let let's define now a risk premium is simply risk premium is simply the difference between expected value and certainty equivalent by risk premium it is actually an amount an agent is willing to pay to avoid the risk of gamble okay so actually if we assure that he will get 84.64 we can also say loosely here loosely speaking we can say that he if he wants to buy an insurance of 84.64 dollars for this he has to pay a certain amount what we call the risk premium okay risk premium let me write it here so what is the risk premium in this case risk premium comes out to be 87.2 minus 84.64 this comes out to be 2.2.6 here okay this comes out to be 2.6 that means uh, this risk premium is the amount amount and agent agent is willing willing to pay to pay to avoid the risk of risk of the gamble okay or we can also say that 
it is an amount uh, which the agent is willing to forego in order to be indifferent between his choice of playing a risky gamble and the one with certain amount okay so uh, let me uh, repeat it here we have the certainty equivalent how do we calculate it we were given an individual he has the uh, he has a house of uh, hundred dollars worth there is chance that it will burn and its value will remain 36 there is also the chance it will not burn and in this case the value of the house remains hundred dollars the probability of uh, burning of this house is 20 percent and this uh, this house does not burn the probability is 80 percent okay first we need to calculate the expected value simply multiplying the random outcomes with their associated probabilities and adding summing them up or adding them out it came out to be 87.2 okay we also assume that uh, this risk averse individual is facing this very type of utility function okay that means um, utility of x is equal to under root of x after that we calculated the utility of 36 dollars utility of 36 dollars came out to be 6 utility of 100 dollars came out to be 10 and expected utility is being found by when we when we multiply the associated probabilities probability with their utilities okay we get the expected utility and in this case we got it 9.2 okay here we can also see that uh, why this is our risk averse person because uh, utility of expected value is greater than expected utility of gamble i have explained it in earlier video okay so this is a risk averse person now what is the X utility of expected value that means utility of this expected monetary benefit it came out to be 9.3 here okay now the question was here could uh, this risk averse person be assured a certain amount okay which would uh, give him a level of utility equivalent to the expected utility from the risky gamble that means we need to find out this very point at this point in this very point where the utility of the gamble okay actually we need to find out the sh uh, certain amount that will make this very individual indifferent uh, between indifferent between in uh, between a risky gamble and the one with certain amount okay this is the risky gamble this point denotes the certain amount okay so corresponding to this uh, this expected utility of 9.2 we got a number 84.64 that means utility of certain amount is equal to expected utility okay so, uh, what is the utility of certain uh, certainty equivalent just to use this utility function we got certainty equivalent is 9.2 square okay so certainty equivalent came out to be 84.64 that means if we give this individual an amount 84.64 he will be indifferent between the gamble and this certain amount okay so certainty equivalent is the amount of money for which an individual is indifferent between the gamble and the certain amount and the risk premium is the difference between these two points okay the difference between these two points gives us the risk premium okay by risk premium we simply mean it is an amount that makes an agent sorry uh, risk premium is the amount an agent is willing to pay to avoid the risk of the gamble or we also say that it is an amount uh, which the agent agent is willing to forego in order to be indifferent in his choice between risky gamble and the one with certain amount okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you